Joan Mace, the house manager of the Eames Foundation. One of the best parts of my job is managing the docent program. The word docent comes from the Latin verb docere, to teach. Our docents at the Eames House are passionate educators who share the legacy and impact of the Eames's life and work. They, as well as staff, are the smiling faces that greet you when you arrive, and they are the heart of the visitor experience. The following film shares a few of our docents' insights on the Eames House in their own words. If you would like to become a docent at the Eames House, please email info at eamesfoundation.org and ask for me, Joe. Please enjoy. There are many things that I miss about the Eames House, but perhaps the one that comes to mind the most is simply the approach to the house. The approach begins by parking on Corona Del Mar, walking down Chautauqua, turning right into the driveway. The driveway itself is an architectural showcase, beginning with, on the right, case study number 21, the Bailey House by Richard Neutra, and a few steps further on, on the left, the Intenza House, case study number nine by Charles and his good friend, Aero Saarinen. I wonder how many times Charles and Ray followed in these same steps. As one approaches the Eames House, the driveway bends around a little bit to the left. This is where one has the first inkling of some, something special to come. The view is over the meadow, framed by the eucalyptus trees with the Pacific as a focal point straight ahead. It's only at this point that you're fully aware of the house and studio on your right. The initial view is a surprise and the house is the reward, a double treat. This view is only possible because Charles and Ray determined that their original design called the bridge house was not right. They wanted the site to be dominant and the house to be subservient. They had the courage to scrap their initial design because it did just the opposite. The house we see today is one of the finest examples of architecture in the world, thanks not only to their talent, but to their quest for quality. One of the most memorable questions I've been asked as a docent is, is the exposed cross bracing on the exterior of the house original? And yes, the iconic X is original and it is an important component of the house's structural system. While the Eames' decision to reveal the cross bracing was a deliberate design decision, the X itself keeps the entire structure rigid and sturdy. My favorite object uh, in the house or series of objects in the house, um, God, there's so many to choose from. Uh, I would have to say are the plants, um, or at least right now, the plants. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the plants actually uh, as we've gone through spring um, and just how so many of them have busted out the bottom of a pot or the pot is leaning on its side because the roots have busted through the bottom, or you know, the, this plant has crawled into the pot of another plant kind of thing over time. My favorite time of day at the Eames house is late afternoon as the light is coming through the windows and the shadows of the leaves cast upon the inside versus the outside. It's just breathtaking. One of the best things about being a docent at the Eames House is meeting all of the visitors and greeting them and inviting their questions and taking photographs and thinking of ways that I can inspire them to have a relationship with the Eames House and everything Eamesian.
You can become a docent by sending your resume, cover letter, and three reference contacts to info at deansfoundation.org.